welcome to Hello Erin. My name is Erin and this is Malcolm. Say hi. So today we're going to be talking about my wedding, how much it costs, how much I saved, and basically the steps. And I'm actually going to be posting all the prices of everything and where to actually get them, the people I use, the makeup artists I use, the places that I bought the dresses, the church location and I'll be leaving all the comments and um, also the what is it the contact information in the bottom so I hope you enjoy the video okay. so let's begin so if you see me constantly look down I'm actually gonna be reading off of my notes that I put because it's actually uh, a lot of things and I don't want to miss anything from this uh, video so let's start off with location the location that I used for my wedding was my home church, which, which is Miami Shores Christian Church right here on Miami Shores, Florida on 103rd Street on Northeast 2nd Avenue. Um, I actually got the church for free for my wedding because my dad is a pastor there. But if you were to rent um, the location um, with the new remodeling, it would be $500, you know, for the whole day for as long as you need it. Um, where I did my reception, I did it at Emmanuel Baptist Church on their second floor. They have this huge, beautiful new area that they remodeled uh, for a reception hall or a baby shower or whatever you want to do up there. It looks really nice. The total for that actually is $1,500 to rent for the whole night. Um, in my case, I ended up uh, getting a hundred percent refund after my wedding because the AC stopped working. Look at God. So I'm not even complaining about that. Um, I'm going to be posting little pictures on the side so you guys can see, you know, how it looked before and after. And at the end of the video, I'm going to have like a little slideshow basically of everything. So you can see like, um, the progress and everything that's been happening. But first and foremost, before I continue, I'd like to give a shout out to my god sister. She basically was my rock and everything. She made sure everything was taken care of. She made sure I did not stress out. She made sure I was basically happy at the end of the day. Like, she's a bomb. Marcy, you the bomb. Like, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be able to have all this hair on my head. I think I would've been bald by now. Probably trying to grow back being natural all over again. So, shout out to my god sister. I'll be shouting her out throughout the video because she's a bomb. If it wasn't for her, you know, all this wouldn't be possible. And also, I'd like to shout out my bridesmaids also. I'm gonna have a little picture of all of them. They're the ones that, you know, really put in that effort. I actually had 10, 10 bridesmaids in my wedding. And, you know, everybody put in their effort. Everybody put in their talent and I really appreciate everyone that was there to really help me because you know what it it really does take a village to do this and um i'm not gonna take all the credit for you know making this wedding successful everybody stayed within my budget everybody made sure you know everything worked in our favor and how basically we benefited off of this so next um all my little like props and little jewelry that you see in the pictures i actually got them all from AliExpress, um, AliExpress.com. Um, it's an app that I know that a lot of people usually buy hair off of, but believe it or not, they sell other things there. Like for instance, I got my dress, my wedding dress off of AliExpress. Um, the vendor that was actually selling the dress, basically I saw the picture and I really liked the picture of the dress. But the thing with buying things online, it makes you super nervous because sometimes, you know, it doesn't come out looking like the picture when you actually got it. So my wedding was gonna be in September. So I decided to buy the dress in January, just in case, you know, if it's not um, up to par as to what, how I want it, um, I'm gonna return it and I'll just go somewhere else to get it. So I bought the dress, um, according to the vendor, it's supposed to look exactly like the picture. It, it actually says that on the, the website. And 
you know, I was like, all right, it looks exactly like the picture. I'm actually going to be one of the first people to buy off the website because, you know, some places would have comments and it would leave comments about, oh, um, yes, this was, ex uh, it was excellent or no, stay away. But I was going to be the first person to write a review on this site. And, you know, I clicked on it and I ordered it. And the thing about this site is that they actually make the dress to fit you. Like you would send them your measurements and they basically have a measurement chart and it tells you your dress size and everything. And, you know, I basically got measured and since I used the model in the past, I already knew my measurements. So I already knew my bust, my waist, my hips, you know, my height and all that. So I was able to send them my measurements and it took about a month for the dress to come in. And when the dress came in, it was perfect. I was so excited, literally. Every two months, I was wearing that dress until the day of my wedding. One, because I want to make sure I don't, you know, gain too much weight and next year the dress doesn't fit the day of the wedding. And plus, you know, I bought it super, super early. And two, I was just so in love with it. And, you know, I'm going to show you details and up close of how the dress look. It was, I love my dress. Till this day, I still love my dress. I'm mad I don't fit my dress anymore because I gained 30 pounds after I had the baby, even though it doesn't look like it, but I was a stick, like, like toothpick before the wedding. And I, I realized I was a toothpick now because I have a lot of clothes that don't even fit me. And I'm just like, I still look the same, but I, d I don't look the same. I don't, I'm not shaped the same. I got mothering hips, which I'm very happy about because I didn't have any hips to begin with. So I'm okay with that. So. My bouquet, I also got that off of AliExpress. And I actually got that for, in total with the shipping, I got it for $32.16. And my bouquet, I actually have it with me. So, this is my bouquet that I got in from AliExpress. And same thing, it looks, I don't know if you can see it perfectly because the light is shining, but it looks exactly like the picture online I don't know if you can see it there we go we can see it from here well I'll have a picture but it looks exactly like the picture online and like just those two things alone the church and the reception hall I was already happy I, I, I didn't I didn't care about nothing else I was like these are the main things that you really need like shoes who cares about the shoes shoe I can walk barefoot and nobody would even know that I'm walking barefoot in this place but you know those were the two main main things that I was concerned about and I was so happy to get it out of the way um, the little girls dresses we actually went to this area called 20th Street um, in Miami they have like a bunch of little stores with mommy and poppy stores over there and they each got their dress for a hundred dollars um, the little crowns I got those off of Aliexpress also the little girl crowns in total uh, for all three of them cost me six dollars and ninety two cents off of Aliexpress and uh, the The flowers the little petals that they threw was like two dollars for a thousand So I had the gold ones and the silver ones were like five dollars for a thousand So I also had those and I had white ones along the church that was already laid out um, for like a dollar um, the little gloves they were like $3.35 each. I got those off of uh, AliExpress. Uh, let's see, let's see. The tiara for my little sister, that was $8. I got that off of AliExpress also. And I also bought tools. Like tools are basically those, y'all don't know what tools are, T-U-L-L-E. Those things that, are, they're like streamers that we put on the bench around the church. So I was able to basically, you know, the night before we went in and we decorated the church with um, tools and flowers. So um, where I took my pictures for basically the day of the wedding, that background with the staircase and all that, I actually went to Miami Beach Resort and Spa. I stayed there for two days and one night. More because of the fact that this is where I wanted everybody to get dressed because this is where I wanted to get all my pictures taken before we head to the church. And it was basically six miles away from the church. So 
um, I booked that hotel for 260 for the two days and one night. And with that, I chose that hotel not because of, you know, the location or it's Miami Beach. I just chose it specifically for the background in my pictures. I was literally going from hotel to hotel just looking for a nice background for my picture because, you know, I want my pictures, my background pictures to look nice. And that place, when I walked in there, I was like, wow. They had a big giant chandelier. They had these gold staircase and upstairs, the ceiling. Like, it's, it's a very old hotel, but everything in there was just so beautiful, like location-wise to take pictures. And the staff was super nice. You know, they let you be creative in certain areas. You know, they even blocked off some areas just for us. So um, people wouldn't walk into our pictures while we try to take it. So I literally just booked that hotel just for the fact that I want to take pictures. And I just ended up staying there and I just got all my bridesmaids, you know, at the day of the wedding to just park their car at the church. My dad um, basically picked everyone up and dropped them off at the hotel and the limo basically picked us up from there. So the limousines, I actually ended up getting two limousines. Uh, one Chrysler and one Hummer for a grand total of 570 for two limousines. And I had that limousine for three hours. Um, I actually found the limousine uh, company on OfferUp.com. So on OfferUp.com, um, the limo, the limousine driver and, you know, I'm in his company. They basically charge me $75 an hour for the Chrysler and I believe $110 an hour for the Hummer. And I only needed the limousine for three hours. I, I just basically needed something to get me from the hotel to the church and from the church to the reception place. And that's it. Um, I didn't need nothing else to drive me home because our car was already parked at the reception place. So it really didn't matter to me like how I got home or how how we got back to the hotel so the limousine booked it for three hours two limousines um, for 570 um, the wedding arch so as you know we decorated the church ourselves, and for the wedding arch I actually found her on offerup.com also her name is Maddie super nice lady she basically made my life so much easier when it came to decorating wise because we decorated the church with um, real flowers. And there's actually a little flower shop in Miami Shores that supplied us with the real roses that my girls used to walk down the aisle. And also two big, large rose bouquet of two dozen roses, each on each side of the front aisle of the church. And also baby breath on, I would say the first 12 rows of the church. and. The night um, of the wedding, my dad was supposed to actually go into the church, turn on the AC for that night to keep everything cool so our um, basically our decorations don't fall in. That morning of the wedding, my dad was supposed to pick up the roses and put the baby breath on each seat. So he was able to get the roses. He put them in the front and the baby breath he didn't know how to stick them on the the benches. So Miss Maddie, who has the arch, you know, first time meeting her, I, I never physically, well, you know what, I did. I met her in person when I actually went to her house to go look at the arch. And basically, she was able to help my dad. She actually put the baby breath on each of the stools, like each of the benches for us. And she didn't have to do that because we you know we didn't ask her, but she's such a super nice person and she actually, put all the baby breath on the, the benches first and she even added her own little touch with some of her flowers that she came from from home and she added onto the, the bench which made it look so pretty and I'm actually gonna have a picture posted up so you can see it. Um, Erica, you wanna give him a bottle? It's right there, sorry. One second. Okay, so um, when it came to decorating the reception hall, well, one, you see the reception hall. Big, pretty, empty. All the tables and the shivari chairs were actually supplied to us by the, by the, the church. So that's one thing I didn't really have to worry about was tables and chairs. 
but we bought everything else on the table and we actually made some of the decorations well all of the decorations that you see so for the tablecloth table linen table runner um the napkins the satin napkins that you see i actually got that from a website called lilianiwholesale.com i actually got everything for a super super awesome price this place is awesome if you want to start um a business decorating this is the place to go i actually got each satin table runner for each table for 70 cents i got the napkins the 11 by 11 napkins it comes five for one dollar and 39 cents the polyester round tablecloth um they're about 120 inches in length i actually got each for six dollars and fifty cents and the i had a really really long gold cloth for my um my bridal party's table it was a 54 by 10 yard um satin gold table runner for them and just that alone cost me $17.29. So in total, when it came to the Liliani Wholesale for all my tables and all that stuff, I actually paid a total of $278.06. I had 250 seats and 20 tables. So, you know, you can do the math. Um, for inside of the reception place, you can see that there aren't any drapes initially and the church actually provided me with a company that has the drapes that actually does draping and does draping for a really good price because that is a big place and they drape basically around the whole place and it only cost me $800 to get draped and the place is called Amazing Production Event and the guy that handles everything his name is Floyd Davis I will leave his information in the bottom too if you ever thought or want to drape anything they drape all sizes um i think that's pretty cool um my god sister she was able to find us a bartender which was pretty awesome because we literally paid her fifty dollars to be there when she gets there she gets fifty dollars and she basically keeps all the tips everything is for her um we provided her with the alcohol and i gave her fifty dollars at the end when her shift is done. Um, alcohol wise, we actually bought everything from Costco and in total we paid $500 for alcohol. So we had like everything. We had Hennessy, vodka, wine, and you know, anything you could think of, we had it and we got everything from Costco. Food wise, in total, I paid $1,000 for food and it is not just $1,000 from one location. There's actually a little store in Miami Garden. I really wish I remembered the name. It was two years ago. I do not remember the name. Um, my friend Jasmine, her mom, actually showed us the place. Um, they charge us about $500 uh, to cater for 250 people. And they were able to have tilapia or chicken with rice and vegetables or rice and mashed potatoes. On top of that, I also... Gave my mom $500 because, you know, there's going to be a lot of Haitians at this party. And they would want their Haitian food. So I actually gave my mom $500 to cook some Haitian food. Um, Haitian rice, Haitian chicken, chicken with the sauce. Um, we were able to have the, a bunch of little appetizers like the meatball. Um, we had bread at the table. Like everything just looks, you know, I love it. Everything looks just so nice. And I couldn't believe, you know. Like this really happened off of, you know, a thousand dollars. And we had actually 250 seats. But when it comes to like a Haitian wedding, you invite one person, but apparently you invite the whole family and they would tell people to come. So I ended up having um, 300 plus people at my wedding and they were there at the reception. Like there were no seats. That's how much people was there. There was no seats there. Um, people stood up, they didn't care. But you want to know something? At the end of the day, we had more than enough food for 300 plus people. Some people took plates home and we still had food left over for me to take home and for, for to go home with my mom also. So that was pretty cool. Um, the hair for my girls, I wanted everybody to have something very simple. 
I wanted them to have bobs, which I think is, you know, something very simple everybody can do. Some of the girls' hairs were longer than others, and you want to know something? I had my little Indian chicks. I had my Hispanic girls, my Puerto Ricans, everyone with long hair. Everybody got weave. I even had my boo Diana. She has dreads, and she ended up getting a bob also. So the person that did our hair was Dahlia from Dahlia's Dollhouse in Miami. She is awesome. For the bridal party, since the 10 of us, um, each girl paid $100 for their bob. And since it was a big party, the bride um, ended up getting her hair done for free. And you know, I saw, you see mine, I had like a simple updo. I had hair added onto my ponytail because I wanted a little bit more dramatic look and also my mom also got her hair done I think her hair was done for free also um yeah so she is freaking awesome I recommend her to anyone that wants to get their hair done some people even fly down to Miami just to come to her to get her hair done she is the bomb she, her personality is awesome 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 I'm gonna be putting her Instagram so you can follow her on her page the address will also be posted on her Instagram so you can go to her and you'll be able to see her, book an appointment. She does hair, wigs. You got it. She can do it. Um, my makeup was actually done by Beauty by Shizzy Pro. Um, Shizzy, she is actually a makeup artist I knew for a while. Um, I used to do pageants and fashion shows and she will always hook us up. When I say face beat, face beat to the gods. And she actually gave us a pretty awesome package. It was a uh, $65 a face um, because it was 10 girls. And um, the bride ended up getting her makeup done for free. Uh, the little girls, they had like um, touch up with powder and they basically, it was, it was like $20. And my mom was um, $30 and also my mother-in-law, we also paid uh, I think $30 for her also. She is the bomb. I'll also be dropping her Instagram, and you'll also be seeing her contact information. Actually, on her page, her main page, Beauty Brains and Credit, um, you'll see basically her Instagram for her portfolio, so you can see her different style of makeup, and you'll also see her main page for events, which is Beauty by Shizzy Pro. Um, so follow her on Instagram. Follow Dolly on Instagram. If you want like a nice top, you know, professional, cute looking, you know, look for whatever event, go to Dahlia for your hair and go to Shizzy for your makeup. They will hook you up. Um, Shizzy is located in Davie and uh, Dahlia is located actually in Miami. So you'll be able to see their contact information. So other than that, hmm, the centerpieces. The centerpieces, we actually made all the centerpieces. Um, it was actually two of my bridesmaids, um, there are two sisters, they actually do centerpieces. And they they actually have a, a page on YouTube where they actually do centerpieces and they actually show you how they get it done. We actually bought everything from Dollar Tree for $1. Everything that you saw on my centerpieces on the tables actually cost one dollar all we did was just connect everything together and made it look bigger all the flowers were for a dollar and i actually have um some of the leftover decorations here and you'll be able to see how they connected everything and basically like i said everything was a dollar and inside of them we actually bought those little balls that expand for a dollar we had floating candles that we cost that cost a dollar basically everything was a dollar and the grand total that we bought from Dollar Tree um, was $240 worth of equipment for a dollar. And it made everything look awesome. So let me show you. So this is actually one of the glass that we bought for like a dollar on Dollar Tree. We actually bought these for a dollar too. These were like filled up with water and they had um, floating candles in them. Right here, we actually have this on some of the tables. And these are actually two half a glasses, like this tall. And there's just two of them that's connected to each other. We actually had 
water filled up to here with floating candles inside of it. And on top of this, it actually had flowers and everything literally cost us a dollar. We also had this right here. This is actually two piece. This is this part right here is actually a cup that's like this. And this right here is another cup and basically glued together. And we had another end that was connected here, but you know, we broke them apart so we can um, make room when we took everything home. And this whole thing was actually a long piece that also had flowers decorated on top. And like I said, everything costs $1. And in total, we ended up paying $240 for basically everything from Dollar Tree. So um, our next thing, which I was so happy about, was my photographer. Um, Photo Nat is the Instagram, and our photographer was Natson Thorville. He is awesome, 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 awesome. He rocked. When I said he rocked, he rocked. He took, he took pictures of everything. I didn't even have to tell him what I wanted. Like the day of the wedding, everything was like in a hurry. Um, you know, we were rushing everything, but he made sure everything came out perfect. Um, we ended up paying $1,000 with him uh, for the wedding. <clears throat> and he basically gave me everything. He gave me everything. I ended up having like over 900 and something pictures when he was done with our album. We still have access to this day. That was 2018. We still have, we're in 2020 now. And we still have access to our album online with our password. And I absolutely love my pictures. He captured every moment. He captured when I was about to tear up, when I was walking down the aisle, but I had to get myself together because I wasn't trying to mess in my makeup. He caught my husband crying on there. He claimed it was dust in his eye, but he was crying. I wish I had the video of him giving his vows. It was so beautiful. He made my sister cry. And my little sister cried. She dirtied her gloves and then she stole my niece's gloves. And then she turned around and told my husband, you see what you did? You made me dirty my gloves and ruined my makeup. It was One thing I did not do for my wedding was get a videographer. And I wish I had a videographer because everything was so beautiful and, you know, we could have seen everything, but I was on a budget and I wasn't trying to spend no more than I had to. And to be honest, a videographer, I, you know what, I did, just didn't have the time to look and find prices and compare that because, you know what, my time was narrowing down. I actually started everything for the wedding um, February. So I had February to September on top of working, I was working two jobs on top of that around that time because I was also going to school and with school, I pay out of pocket and I don't want no student loan. I'm afraid of them things. And I made sure I paid everything out of pocket. If I have to work two jobs to pay everything out of pocket, I will just so I don't have to take a loan. And thank goodness, I don't have no student loans. I'm in my career. I don't have to pay anybody back nothing. My money is my money. And you know, I'm able to enjoy my money. So basically adding everything, not including a DJ, my god sister, Marceline, you know, she the bomb y'all. She took care of the DJ, so I can't even tell you how much a DJ would cost, but if we were to do like a ballpark prize, I would say I probably got charged $500 for the DJ, but you know, it was taken care of, but I am gonna add that into my grand total for everything I just told you. And when I did my calculations, um, getting everything from AliExpress, um, Bella King say was where I got my bridesmaids dresses and those people are awesome. My bridesmaids dresses only cost $150 and they had from whenever the day that they bought the dress all the way to the day before the wedding to pay it off. Bless you, Papa. Um, so if you bought the dress, I would say in March, you got from March to September to pay $150. Not to mention also included they do the alterations for you. They make sure the dress is fit to par. So some of my girls were very busty, so they had big boobs. And some of them, you know, they had little boobs. And they were able to accommodate basically for everyone. So everyone was able to walk out with a customized dress for $150.
that, you know, basically went with the wedding theme and it was, you know, it was awesome. So everything will be in the bottom of the page. If you want to look at the websites for the wholesale, if you want to look at the website for the church, um, the, all the Instagrams for the hair, the makeup, the photography will also be listed down. Um, I also, you know, bought a couple of things from Amazon, like little things, like little pins to put in the hair. I got those from Amazon. My necklace that I wore with the earrings, I actually got that from Amazon. I only paid $10 for that. So I'm going to be leaving all the websites and everything down below if you want to look at it. Um, basically, the grand total for my wedding was $6,000. $796.76. And that's counting everything with shipping, taxes, and, you know, basically everything. I kept the receipts for everything because a lot of people couldn't believe that I would have been able to make this happen because I was going around work telling everybody, yeah, I'm going to have a wedding that's going to cost me less than $7,000. And y'all know I'm bougie. And, you know, I ain't going to lie. I be cheap sometimes because I like to, I like to save money. And if I can find it on sale, I'm going to... I'm gonna find it on sale and I'm gonna buy it on sale. I refuse to pay full price for anything. But that's really about it. So if you have any questions or comments or if I missed anything, I don't think I missed anything because I got my list to the T and that was my total and I love that number. It was perfect. So um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm back, sorry. Um, I had to pick him up. He's learning how to crawl and sometimes when he's on his tummy for too long, he gets upset because he can't get up by himself. But it's okay, Papa. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to be walking real soon. We're going to walk before we crawl. That's how we do it. Right? Yeah. Let him know. We're going to walk before I crawl. So, thank you for watching my video. Like I said, leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions about weddings and where to find certain things, you know, let me know because I know a couple of things here in Miami. I don't know anything else, anywhere else. So thank you for watching the video and see you soon. Mm -hmm.